So I'm going to switch over and uh, pull up a web browser here. So this is uh, coming right over. And I'll actually start fresh. This is coming over from, from our iademo.inductiveautomation.com. This is the server that we have online. And this is the Ignition software running inside there. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to show you is launching multiple designers. As Don mentioned, if you have different systems and you have different versions of Ignition, you can run the designer from each one of those versions without additional effort. And you can run multiple versions at the same time. Uh, and you don't have to match or you don't have to have separate installs for the versions of the system that you have. So in this case, I just click this launch designer button. It's pulling this up here and I log in right here. And you can see I now have the designer open and this designer is uh, now set up. It is up and running. And this is for the current version of the software, which is 7.9. Um, now, if I minimize this and I go over, uh, I can pull up another copy of Ignition that we have online, which is a our new version that is um, just about out here. So this is sitting online at uh, 34.219.249.10. And of course, if this is a production system, it would have a name. I give it this. And then I can get to the uh, designer launchers from here. And uh, I haven't ever launched this from this system before. So I'll show you exactly what this looks like. It's completely fresh. Uh, just come in, installs right there, designer launcher. And then it is going to allow me to launch a designer. And this actually also allows me to manage all of the different systems um, that I might have that I might care about. Um, so it asks for some firewall rules there. Of course, I want to allow this to communicate to the outside world. I'll add a new designer. Um, it'll scan the network for um, design designers, or I could type in wherever I wanted to go. In this case, I'm going to do it to the 34.219.249.10. And uh, checks the, for the validity. The host is valid and it drops it in this list. If I had 10 different ignition systems, I could have them all inside this list, different versions and still launchable. I'm going to click launch right there. And this pulls up the uh, new ignition designer. Since this is the first time I'm launching, it streams some of the uh, packages that it needs. The second time it launches, it holds onto these and it caches it. So it's more or less an instant launch. And so as this is loading, you'll notice that I still have my Ignition Designer here open that I just opened uh, before. This is a separate Ignition Designer. This is for that other Ignition system. And then this guy is launching up a separate Ignition Designer for Ignition 8. If we're going to jump over to Backup and Restore, that is actually done uh, really simply as well. So if we come over to our Ignition Gateway, we go to Configure, we log in right here. We have security built into the platform. Every single version of Ignition has security as one of the key tenants. If I come over here and I go to my backup and restore, I can download a backup. This goes into a single file backup right here. You can see this is a .gwbk file. And with the click of the button, I have backed up the entire Ignition system. If I go to Restore, I can come over here, choose the file, and I can restore from here into Ignition. If I set up a new system, I can restore from the single Ignition backup file, and it'll restore right in here. If I'm setting up new licenses, Don mentioned expanding the system. If I'm setting up new licenses, if I'm adding new modules to Ignition, if I am um, setting up another Ignition system, all of that doesn't require you to take your system down. The way that that's done is in two different ways, actually. The licensing is available to be done on the fly. So if I have these modules installed and I install a new license, I can do that as the system's up and running. If I install new modules and I update my license, I can do that as well. And that's as simple as going to activate right here, typing in my license. and then hitting activate. And now I've got a license that's installed, no software reboot necessary, uh, single click to install that license. And if I have multiple systems, we do have back, uh, we do have the ability to set up redundancy. 
So you can take one system down, the second system takes over, you do a full update um, to the next version of Ignition, to whatever you need to in that system, and then you bring it back up, and you take the backup down, and the system just keeps running through that process. Last thing I wanted to show before passing this back over to Don is that we do have that second designer up and running and launched. And if I type in the right password here, it's going to let me in. And so you'll notice that this designer that's launching here, um, the second one, is a slightly different design because we've updated our look and feel a little bit. Uh, but these designers are designers for different versions running side by side, running on the exact same system. So if you were to, uh, if you're in integration and you happen to go to a different customer system um, and that different customer has a different version of Ignition, you can just launch the designer from whatever version they have. You don't have any need to go in with a pre-configured, pre-set up uh, design environment on your laptop. This is the new designer here.